What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Unite and ladies and gentlemen, today we are showcasing the best attacker in the game at the moment. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, thank you guys so much for all the support that has been going out across the channel. It really just blew my mind that we are almost at 10k subscribers. So seriously, thank you guys yet again for supporting me as a content creator. But like I said, in today's video, we're going to be hopping on to the rank ladder. We're just playing some Unite matches with the best attacker in the game right now, and that is Cinderace. Ever since there has been buffs on Venusaur, Lucario, and all different Pokemon around, Cinderace hasn't been touched, it's been staying true to its strongness and its value, and it has now propelled its way to the top of the tier list. It's S tier, and hands down, the best attacker. But what I want to do in today's video is showcase my favorite items for him, and uh, my favorite moveset for him, considering this Pokemon is so versatile. You can play him in the top lane, you can play him in the bottom lane, but personally, I really like to play him in the jungle, that's where he gets his most value out of. Considering he has great mobility, he hits hard, so if you get those levels up early, you completely dominate the battle. But I don't want to do like an in-depth full analysis on this Pokemon, because a lot of you guys already know about him. He was here in the game since the beginning, but he's just super strong at the moment, and I feel like I had to showcase for him for you guys. So I just want to go over my items and what moves I like to use for his Pokemon. But getting started here, we'll start off with his stats. He has four stars on the offense, one and a half on the endurance board. Then he has uh, three stars for mobility, which is solid. Like I said, his mobility is pretty good. I do like his mobility on him alongside with his offensive power. And then he has scoring is two and a half stars. And support is obviously half a star because he's just here to do damage. And then the items I like to use for him is the Muscle Band and Buddy Barrier. Those two are an absolute must. And I like the Rock Focus Band on his third one, but this one is really interchangeable. Definitely Buddy Barrier and Muscle Band for this Pokemon. Just everybody thrives with the Buddy Barrier, but Cinderace really rocks out with this Muscle Band. So these two are an absolute must, but then this third one. Let me talk about this one. I like to go Focus Band. It's really good because because you get a little bit of HP when you're decreased, but you can definitely swap it out for the Scope Lens. Scope Lens is super, super good. If you have this uh, this item maxed out, I would definitely go for that because this is the best item when it's maxed out. It gets the most value out of it when it hits level 30. So I really do wish I would have used my Super Item Enhancer on that, but it's all good. It is all good. Another item you can use that I see a lot of people rocking out with them is the Attack Weight. I don't have it leveled up, but that Attack Weight is actually pretty good. So if you guys have Attack Weight, you can rock out with that. But I believe it's uh, Scope Lens, Focus Span, or the uh, or the attack weight in this uh, in this third slot. But definitely, like I said, Buddy Barrier and Muscle Band for the other two items. Let's go over to moveset, what I like to use. You can definitely use all different types of moves from there. Isn't like one main moveset for this Pokemon because he's just so good all around. But you obviously, you have the basic attack. You have the Blaze ability. Let's get started with the first move slot, and that's Ember. And then it switches over to Blaze Kick or Pyro Ball. Personally, Pyro Ball, in my opinion, is the way to go. Pyro Ball is so good, especially when you're using them because you're mainly using them for a ranged attacker. And Pyro Ball hits far, it hits quick, and it can hit multiple enemies because it hits through Pokemon. So it's good for team fights. It's good when wild enemies are all clustered up, like the Combis and Best queens you get off a lot of damage and get back super super fast considering it's five seconds it's a five second cooldown you can send it dip back keep your range and then send it again constantly it's five seconds really quick but the other move is blaze kick and that's actually a very good move i just don't really like it as much as pyro ball like when i'm playing cinderace like i said I just like to be a range attacker i like to be chilling back i like to keep my distance so pyro ball really works with this play style Next move is Low Sweep, and it switches down into Faint and Flame Charge. And this is where it gets a little sticky, guys, because uh, they're both really, really good moves. And I feel like maybe in today's video, one battle will use Faint, and the other battle will use Flame Charge. But I just feel like Faint's uh, cooldown is way too long for 13 seconds, but it's super, super strong. It increases the user's movement speed for a short amount of time and makes the user invincible for a short amount of time. That's amazing. 13 seconds cooldown, though. So if you can use that at the right time, you can get a nice little movement speed buff, and you won't take any damage because you're invincible. When you get to upgrade it after this move is used, basic attacks that hit opposing Pokemon restore the user's HP. So it's good for when you're in a pinch, when you're low on HP, you just start sending basic attacks and restoring HP. So it's kind of like a free uh, shell bell for a couple seconds, which is pretty cool. But the move that I usually go with is Flame Charge, considering it's a 5 second cooldown dash, and it has the user's charge forward, cloaked in flames, dealing damage to any opposing Pokemon it hits. When it upgrades, the user's next boosted attack after this move also decreases the movement speed of the opposing Pokemon for a short time. This move's really good for dipping back, getting out of sticky situations, or pushing up and trying to get a last second kill when the opposing Pokemon has low HP. But like I said, both these moves are super, super good. I probably would go faint if I wasn't using Focus Ban, because Focus Ban gives you HP when you fall below low a certain amount but if i'm rocking like scope lens i feel like faint is the way to go deal more damage get more hp back but if you are rocking focus band like i am i think flame charge is definitely the way to go but that is the build i like to use those are the items i like to use for scenarios let's now hop into some battles and try to showcase the best attacker to its fullest potential 
Hopping into battle number one with Cinderace. I'm trying to get the jungle area, but we do have a talent flame on our team. And I think he's going to try to weasel his way into that jungle area. But hopefully he doesn't. Hopefully he allows me to do it. So let's see how it goes. We are rocking, like I said, the normal items that we are. But our battle item is obviously the eject button. Still the best in the game. Just still super good. Gets you out of good situations and acts as a, as a nice little push forward. Or you can get through walls in sticky situations. So if I need to push through a wall, I always use eject button. Always use jack button, especially when I'm going jungle too. But you can push straight through that front wall and it'll save you like a couple seconds. You can get right after XP farming. But yeah, our team's looking sick. Our team's looking sick. I wish I had a costume for Cinderace. I wish I did, because look at our team's costumes. We got the Hawaiian Grand Ninja. The Halloween Lucario is so sick. I think that is so sick. It really is. But I'm in the front spot, so hopefully I'll just go jungle and he'll just have back off. Let's just see. Oh yeah, he ain't even moving. Let's see if I can get this. Yeah, go bottom lane. Yeah, go bottom lane, buddy. Go bottom lane. I'm gonna get my ember rocking. And yo, Talon Flame, get out of here, bro. I'm here. I am here. Leave me alone. Talon Flame, I swear, yo. Look, he's lucky I got the hit. He's lucky I got the hit. He comes through, though. And yo, what are you doing? Go in the top lane. I'm not dealing with you, dog. I got that again. Get out my face, dude. <laughs> Look at him, yo. Just stealing my kills. He's definitely gonna steal my, uh, my core fish. Yep. He's gonna steal my core fish. I'm gonna head into that top lane afterwards. Come on, man. You see me grinding over here. Just trying to get my levels up. Just trying to get my levels up. There you go. We're rocking with Ember and Flame Charger as of right now. And I'm just going to keep ripping and go through. Uh, who got a kill? Froki got a kill. That is in our bot. Actually, I'm going to go help the bottom lane. I'm going to go help this bottom lane. And I might try to sneak through their jungle. It might be my play. It might be my play. But I see Talon Flame somewhere over here. Let's hit up on him. Hit up on this thing. See if I can steal this thing. And of course he gets it. So I'm just going to keep teeing off on this. Burn that. And we should be able to get a kill here. I don't have my eject button, but I do have that. There we go. Beautiful. Pick up a nice early kill. And let's see if I can sneak in 17 points here. Lovely. Lovely. And I'm actually going to head into their jungle and see if I can do like a sneaky play here. If they haven't touched their jungle Pokemon yet, I would love to just steal all their uh, XP. That could give me a huge XP boost and then we can just bounce back. But they did touch their jungle Pokemon. They did indeed. Unless they didn't touch this one. They, they did not. I just stole that. Look at me, yo. Just in these dudes jungle. In this dude's mid. He don't want it. He don't want it, yo. This thing's dead. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. I'm just going to steal all that and then head back to our lane. Actually, I might flank into the top lane. I might flank into that top lane. Let's roll. I could score points real quick. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And go get these bees. Look at yo. Look at me, yo. Just running through the jungle. Come here. Come here, Squirtle. Come here, Squirtle. Get out of my face. Let's take out all these and I get all this XP and then head to the jungle. Run it. Run it. Yo, what's this town flame doing? We got we to gotta take out all these bees and stuff and things. There's just so much XP sitting on the floor. And we are just going to dominate this battle here. We have a huge XP lead. It's pretty nutty. I'm just going to farm through the jungle and roll from there. And then go to that bottom lane. We should be thriving here. This should be an easy match for us. I'm telling you, yo. We're going to dominate after I get all these levels. Like, look at us. We already have flame charge. We have everything. Our levels are crazy. Just for the sheer fact is... uh, Because we, uh, we went into the jungle and stole a few enemies. Like, I've been learning to do that. If, if they're not, like, touching enemies and you can go in there and steal them real quick, it is huge. I'm going to head to this bottom lane. Let the team know that I'm coming. And we're about, we about to rip up on these guys. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Get out of my face. We don't need you here. Let's see if I can score real quick. If I can cash in 39. Then that. Just deal damage on that. And can I cash in 39? If they hit me while I'm trying to score, I'm going to cry. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, you buttery biscuit. Oh, it's he's all four. Come here. Come here. Let me tell you something. Get out of my face. Let me score. Let me score, baby. Put up 40 points, get my XP back up, and Drenal is about to spawn, which is great. I'm coming right across here. Am I all here? I am going to all. Come here. Let me tell you something. Yo, did I just get? Did my all just get canceled out? Let's see if I can take you out, and I should just be able to one v one this thing. I one v one you. Get out of my face. I don't need you here. Let me score more points. Get him out of here, dude. That, that thing just canceled out my all. That was actually pretty cool. I'll give it to him. I'll attack Drenal, then I'll head to that top lane. We should be thriving here. This thing's only level 6, yo. Am my levels like crazy strong up against everybody else's? Then you get it like fully checked. I'm gonna head to the top lane right after this. And we're thriving here. We're thriving here. Actually, let me head through the jungle. Let me head through this lovely little jungle. Get all my jungle enemies and just stay ahead of the levels. Because, yo, we are crushing it. Oh, is that I'm a champ over there? Let me go kill him. Oh, yeah, buddy. Come here. I'll ult here. I'll ult here. There's one kill. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. What you want, fool? What you want, fool? What you want? Get out of my game, dude. Talonflame is dominating, or not dominating over there. He is taking my jungle enemies, which is all good. I'm just going to keep farming up my XP. Try to get level 12 here. Here's you. Oh, I'm coming, Snorlax. Don't worry. Don't worry. This dude don't stand a chance up against us. 
I had the jack button back here, which I will. Oh, there's our talent flame, and there's a KO from me. Do need XP, which I might go under tower and get. Or actually, I can score and get a bunch of XP. Now, let me score, let me score. You got 13 points. Let me cash in this 40. Let me cash in this 40. Get a bunch of XP. We are thriving now. We are thriving. Take out this Vesper Queen. Get some nice XP. And, you know, we're almost level 13. And we're not even halfway through the match. This is going to be a cakewalk. I'm going to tell him I'm heading to the bot lane. Should be able to just pick up these easy double kill here. Because, like I said, I'm boosted out of my mind right now. Out of my mind. Where these dudes at? We get up on these guys. And, you know, we are thriving here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here, dude. They stand no chance. They stand no chance. And who's down here? Come here. I'm coming for him. I'm coming for the kill, baby. You're on fire. They just take you out. Yo, what you want, fool? What you want, fool? What you want? <laughs> Get him out of my face, dude. Oh, my God. Cinderace is so strong right now. He is so strong. I'm going to let him know that we are going to uh, attack Dreadnought. I'm going to sneak up here and try to get some kills. See, because if, if they cut through here, I can just definitely just, like, whip up on them. He is. Get him out of here, dude. He's dead. Go home. I'm at the all here, which I am going to do. Just get off some big damage here. Use my buddy barrier. I missed that, but we should be able to push up on him and get that kill. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let me go grab Dreadnought. Let everybody know. Actually, there's some bees here, which I would like to just tee off on real quick. As these guys come down here. But, dude, look how like easily I can just clean up these bees. And this is what Champ's pushing these guys. I don't think he wants to smoke. I use my moves. Oh, we chillin'. Oh, anyone gonna help me out here? I can just dip out like this. Actually, I'm gonna eject button on this thing. I can take you out. Get him out of here. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful, man. Just gotta play deep with uh with uh Cinderace. Once you once you play deep like that and, and just get the range down, it's just GG's. Yo, what's this dude doing? You don't want the smoke, you'll get him. Get him. Come on, can I get him there? There it is, yo, dude. The range attack. Doing him dirty. I don't even need to farm up wild enemies anymore. I really don't have to do that. If I can just smoke this dude. And there we go. Get a KO there. And hopefully they'll let me score my 50. If I can score these 50, the tower's gone. And I get a bunch of HP back. Beautiful. Beautiful. And there's this guy. Not even leveled up. Oh, my Lord. Just complete and utter dominance right now. I'm going to head to the top lane and let him know. Head to the top path, baby. Oh, yo, there's, there's this guy. Oh, he's ulting, man. Can I get out of there? No, I'm dead, yo. I'm so dead. Unless I get another flame charge. Oh, leave me alone. Chill on me. No. <laughs> My first death, man. How are we doing? 17 and 3. Wow, yo. Look at the levels, too. I'm level 14. The next highest is 12. I'm actually almost level 15. But now they're going to start scoring points. And they actually scored a lot of points considering how much damage we've been doing or how many kills I have. We should be able to win this one fairly easily. Because I will have my all for when Zapdos spawns. And I'm just going to save it for that. I'm definitely saving my all for when that happens. Dude, I want to hit I want to hit a 20 bomb. I want to hit a 20 bomb. I should be able to. I should be able to. They still have a war turtle. That's sad. That's sad. We've just been crushing on him. And how many people are down here? Just a mime. I want the mime, yo. Mime, you're dead, dude. I'm coming for you, mime. I'm coming for you, mime. Come here, mime. Let me tell you something, dude. Let's see who's going to all. So I actually need to chill on the tower here. Come here, boys. Come here, boys. Come here. Yeah, that, that won't get him, yo. Come here. Let me flame charge up on you. Do I have the all here? I think I should be good. Dip back a little bit. Have this dude push me. Jack button up. And then get him out of my game. Get him out of my game, dude. The final stretch. I should be able to just handle this thing easily. Flame charge up. And then there you go. You're dead. Let these guys know that I'm heading to the central area. No, I hit the wrong button. That's fine. Let's roll. To the central area. Let's get rid of this thing. And this thing is actually just chilling here. I'm going to ult as he ults here. Oh, no. I cannot. What's going on here? I should just be able to take him out easily. There you go. Get out of my game. Ult on that talent flame if I can. I must have my ult here. I really just want to ult. There we go. Let's ult now. Bang. And I should just be able to take out this Zapdos here. I get that. Thank you. I got that. And I should be able to take out you as well. Can I snipe him? I missed him, man. I missed him. But there we go. We get Zapdos. I would love to score another point. Yo, 22 kills. Ain't looking bad, yo. Absolutely dominated. Absolutely dominated. But I saw him coming after me. I was just like, dude, I have to hit Zapdos here. I have to hit Zapdos here. Let's score here, and then I should just be able to take out Cinderace, no problem. Should just be able to dominate this thing. Get him out of my game. And here's Blastoise over here, who I know is low-leveled. Who I know for sure is low-leveled. Oh, yo, he ulted. He ulted, bro. 
I'm gonna eject out of here. I just want the kill. I already scored my points. There's a the double kill. Let's roll out here, and I'm actually going to head back to base. Just so I can go try to get a couple more kills in that in that middle lane. I'm coming. I'm coming, Grand Ninja. Yo, Jeans is coming, baby. Yo, I'm looking for 25. Yo, we're at 24. Give me another one. Give me another one, baby. Let these dudes at. I wish I had my all, dude. This would be instant. Oh, my God. We, we might still be able to pick up a triple here. We might get the triple. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yo, get these guys out of my game, dude. 3v1, all dead. All dead instantly. I'm coming for you, Blastoids. 13 seconds left on the clock. Let's see if I can pick up another one. Come here. Come here. Blastoids turn. Blastoids turn. Oh, you stink, dude. Where these dudes at? These dudes don't want it. If I can smoke the Cinderace here. Get him out of here. I got him. I got him, yo. I got him last second. Yo. Best attacker in the game. Like I said, this Pokemon is crazy strong. You guys just saw its mobility on full display. Same thing with, with this attack. It is just insane, yo. That's why I absolutely love this moveset. Look at that. 28 and 4. Get out my face, dude. Absolutely crushed it. We're going to hop into our second battle and look to have another dominating battle for today's video. I don't think we can outdo that first battle. 28 and 4, that is the definition of domination. But we're hopping into our second battle. Hopefully, they'll let me lock down the jungle once again. If they knew what I did in the last battle, they would definitely be like, here, yo. Take the, take the jungle. It's all yours. But we're going to be rocking out with that same moveset. Like I said, I was going to use Faint in the uh, second battle and uh, Flame Charge in the other battle. But, dude, like I said, dude, Flame Charge is too good. It's just too good, and we just showcased it to its fullest potential there. I gotta use again. It's an absolute must for me. But let me let them know by doing another quick chat that I'm headed to the central lane. And hopefully this Gengar doesn't do it. But yo, that Talonflame was starting to get in my grill. We might, we might have been able to crack a 30 bomb there for 30 kills if that Talonflame didn't hop into us early, but it's all good. But I think the way to do it is sometimes is to go in there and steal their jungle Pokemon really early on. Because what the junglers like to do is to head inside... Get all their jungle Pokemon and then head to either top or bottom lane. And by the time they respawn, they're not there. So maybe I can steal a few, get XP, head back to my base, and then roll out from there. Just have a huge XP advantage and just be able to dominate the battle like we did in the last one. But their team's looking, it's looking alright. The Greninja, I actually really do like Greninja. Greninja is actually super strong. I think he's still super, super good. But then the Gengar's and eh, the Mime is really good, the Mammoth Swans and eh, the Gardevoir's and eh. So hopefully we can just be able to dominate this battle. But guys, I didn't even ask you guys a question of the day. And that is, what are your top three po favorite Pokemon to use in Pokemon Unite? Doesn't have to be the best Pokemon. Doesn't have to be your mains. Who do you have the most fun using? For me, I absolutely love to use Greninja. Greninja has always been my main because I like to use him so much. I also really like to use Pikachu. I think Pikachu is super, super fun. And I think Venusaur is tons of fun as well. Not just because he's good. I just like using the Solar Beam build on him. Shooting out lasers. Definitely awesome. Definitely tons of fun. But yeah, let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. I used to actually use uh, Blissey a lot. We do have Blissey on our team, but Blissey's just not a fun character. Either. Like, it's good for support. Like, if we need a bottom lane, like, I'll play it if I'm doing rank battles and Master tier. But other than that, it's just like, dude, you just slap up and you just you just support your teammates. I think Elder Gloss could be a lot of fun for support. Maybe I'll do an Elder Gloss video. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would like to see that. But we're going to chip up on this little pup here. Get after this thing. Come here. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, little pup. You know, we have two guys AFK. Oh, well, now one and Sir Blissey. That's fine, y'all. I want, I want to be five this. I want to be five this all day. I'll do it all day, baby. Let's roll out. Blissey's just chilling there. So it looks like I got to head to that top lane as quick as I possibly can. There's that. We'll hit up on you. And we'll flame charge through you. And, of course, that thing hits me. I did not want to hit me. Let's see if I can actually kite this thing over here. If I can kite this thing over here, I can get start getting a little bit of movement. And I can start teeing off on these guys. I want to go ahead. I should have got the uh, bit of the bottom one first. The bottom core fish. So I can hit this top lane. Because we know top lane is definitely going to need my help. And hopefully we do work here. And I might just go. No, nah, I'm just going to sneak into that top lane. We are level 5. So we already have a reboot. That's what's so good about using this Pokemon in the jungle. It's like you can turn into a reboot instantly. A big KO from a slow bro in that bot lane. Let's see how we're thriving over here. I'll take this thing out. I see somebody in my right bush. There he is. Hello, Roltz. How you doing, buddy? Oh, he's level 5. Is this our jungler? Is this our jungler? And the bees are spawning here. Yo, where's my where's my boy at? I might die here. Nah, I should be good. I'm going to try to get rid of this Vesper Queen. Nah, I cannot. I'm going to have to eject button back here. Get some HP. And is this guy eject button up? Let me put it on a burn. I see you in the bushes over there, Rolls. I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. But I'm just going to dip this top lane. We are AFK a player, which is rough. We, which is really, really rough. I'm going to head over here, and this uh, this Boofland should be spawned. Yep. Hello, Boofland. How you doing? So, 
with a minus player. We're going to have to be playing very, very smart. I'm not even going to go for kills here. You guys saw how many kills we had in the last one. I'm going to be focusing on my HP or my XP here. Because if I can get levels, that's the only way we're going to be a 1v or a 4v5 situation. Because we're going to need levels. We're going to need to be able to rock out here and play very defensively. So I'm just going to keep taking out these guys. Try to get level 7 as soon as I possibly can. As soon as I possibly can. Ember, Ember, and we almost have our Pyro Ball, which could be really, really good. There it is. There's Pyro Ball. Gasly does go down here. If I can take you out. This thing has score shield. No, it doesn't. It does not. Well, let me keep teeing off on this thing. I might be able to get the kill here. Let me keep teeing off on this thing. Get out of my face, dude. What are you doing here? Get out of here. Get out of here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this dude's teeing off. I am going to go head down and try to get that Dreadnought. Do a Flame Charger ready to go. I'm going to let them know. But I'm going to see if I can actually score these 30 points real quick. We'll big for a squad. Oh, and there's a bunch of bees here, too. A bunch of bees here, too. I didn't want to start whipping up on these bees because bees are huge XP. Now, what you want, fool? Oh, my lord. Yo, this thing's teeing off on me. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can just dip to the spot lane. Actually, I, I'm going to say they get it. They have the rolls down here. I'm going to try to collect all these Pokeballs and maybe score again. I don't know. Or I can maybe just try to take out this Rotom. I'll try to do that. If he's sitting down there, I'm just going to score here. That's my points. And they could really use me down there, but I'm just going to take Rotom while I'm up here. Because I don't want to head all the way down there. And then have them, what's it called? And then have them take the Dreadnought and then they can come up here and take this Rotom. So, in my case, I'd rather just take out this Rotom by myself and guarantee me this. The Rotom is super strong. And there it is. See, if I would have went down there, I think they would have had it in time. We're going to be able to get that. He's going to be able to take out that goal zone. I'm just going to keep getting my levels up. I'm gonna keep getting my levels up. Let's roll. All right, I'm heading to that bot lane now. On my way, dude. There's so many down there. If I can get down there, I feel like I could potentially pick up a lot of kills. So let's roll. I have my ult ready to rock. Am I highest level here? I mean, they have a level 9. That's about it. There she is. There's Curlia. Sit back a little bit. Can I sit back a little bit? I'm going to have to pop ult. Can I pop it? Yep. There's ult pop. Sit back a little bit. And that might be able to get the kill there. If I can get that. There's kill. And we're sitting here nicely. I do like that. There is Mr. Mime who just hopped through. I'm scared of that thing. Curlia is there. I'm gonna have to head to this top lane, dude. We're playing good, but our team's just getting just getting slapped on. And there's the computer. I am gonna say, yo, computer, come fight with me. Come battle with me, computer. Be really nice. It would be lovely. Get back here and just chill in her tower. Get my HP up. Get my HP up. Come here, buddy. Get out of my face, dude. I ain't dealing with you. I ain't dealing with you. Yo, why do we still have a Ghastly on our team, man? Did I get that KO? Oh, no. I. Oh, yeah, I did. I was wondering, yo. He double teamed out. And, yo, we are getting slapped on right now. There's our... We finally have a, a, a not a Ghastly. <laughs> that was super rough. That was super rough. But, again, I need levels. So, I'm just going to get T off on this thing. And I need to get out of here. I'm dead, aren't I? Yep. Jeans goes down, man. That's rough. That is rough. Because we're playing super good. There is still a chance we win this battle. Because I did take out the top lane. I am going to have to tell everybody to head to that bottom path. Because Dreadnought is an absolute must right now. God dang. People going AFK. Super rough at all times. But we have to head to that bot lane. I don't want them stealing all our jungle enemies. They are just chilling under that tower. So I have to take out this thing. Get rolling here. Let's see if I can actually push up on this Gengar. I see you, Gengar. I see you, Gengar and Greninja. This thing is going to ult on me. I am so dead unless I eject button back here and do that. Get him out of here, yo. Take you out. That's awesome, dude. Look at those kills there. Look at those kills there. Come here. Come here, Cinder. Come here. Come here, Grand Ninja. Get out of my face, dude. There's a double kill. I'm heading right to that bottom lane. Gotta let the team know. So we need this. We need this. And I, get, I should be able to get my ult very, very soon. He's trying to control us right there. That's totally fine. I'm just going to skip all these wild enemies, and we're going to roll straight towards it. Howdy, 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 howdy. Yo, I'm coming for you. Yo, chill on me. Yes, we got it. We got it. I'm ulting right on these guys. Alting right there. Send that. Oh, yeah, of course this Gardevoir ults here as well. Let's flame charge up on her. Try to get her out of a game. And look at all these dudes. These guys are coming after us hard. I can pop this thing down there. And I'm just going to head back to jungle. With that Drenol, that gave us a nice little XP boost. So I might as well just keep farming up my XP and trying to get our levels up. That's a huge kill. That's a huge kill. But yo, we knew it was going to be rough from the beginning. But, yo, I, I always like a good challenge. I saw a 1v or a 5v4 challenge. Hopefully this Gengar doesn't follow me in here. And he goes for those Aldinos on the side. Because there's plenty of XP just chilling there. 
Okay, he can go for that. I'm going for the Aldinos. What's he doing? Oh, no. Oh, this Gengar's following me. This is the AFK person. I was wondering, yo. I was wondering. This is the AFK person. I thought it was the Blissey. And we have two AFK people. What? Yo, that's nutty. Yo, I was sitting here wondering. I was like, yo, why is this dude following me? There's so much more XP just floating around on other sides. I was like, come on, man. <laughs> but yeah, we have two AFK people. That is nuts. That is nuts. If we win this battle, that's crazy. That is crazy. You guys know we always show every single battle that we do on the channel. We don't do no skips. We don't do any of that. I'm just gonna rock out with this. Should be able to just rock up on this thing. Get him out of our face, dude. Get him out of here, yo. Let's push this top lane. Let's push this top lane. Try to get some points before we uh, adapt this this come. And it's so cool having the Gengar. I do like it, but when he starts taking my wild enemies, it's really, really rough. There's level 14. Let me try to score here. Let me try to cash in a little bit of 50 points. Got the Gengar chilling. <laughs> There's you guys. I do, have my, I do have my moves ready to rock. My ult. I really want to. Oh, I'm dead, aren't I? So I get to check that here. Nope. She ults, but that actually works out really good in her favor. But she won't have an ult ready to go. She will not have an ult ready to go as the strongest Pokemon. And I'm the strongest Pokemon on our team. So I can have an ult and maybe just get some big KOs and be able to take out Zapdos. Let me let the team know. Yo, head to that central lane. Ah, uh, I, hit, I hit back up. We got head to that central lane. They can have the points right now. We can get rolling here. Give me that Gengar. That's the one thing. I don't think Gengar can score. I'm coming in hot. Let me use this. And let's roll. How much damage is done on these guys? Let's ult. Oh, I'm lagging, aren't I? Let's see if I can get that last hit. Did I get that? I did, yo. I stole that. I stole that, baby. Yo, let's roll. Let's roll. No way we're winning a 1v5. Well, not 1v5. Why do I keep saying 1v5? A 3v5. We're going to need Charizard to score here. And they're, I think they're scoring a bunch of points here. Gengar, Gengar, let's go score. Does Gengar score or no? I don't know if Gengar scores. Let me Charizard to put up some points here. I don't think Gengar will score. Gengar, can you score? Yes, he does. Yes, sir. <laughs> Run it. <laughs> I am going to ult now. Why can't I ult, man? There it is. I was waiting to ult. Take you out. And we're going to try to get as many points as we can right now. I need to score. I need to score. Gengar, put these points in. Put these points in. And, of course, we're losing here. God dang it, dude. I thought we were going to win this. Gengar, I need you scoring. Score your points, man. Yes, sir. He takes out the tower. We're trying <laughs> to score as many points as we can. <laughs> There's Mamoswine. I should just be able to kill him. Should just be able to kill Mamoswine here. Get out of here, dude. Kill him. Let's roll. Let's go score our points. We got a couple seconds left. I think they're just defending tower. And they're just scoring points on our end. Dude, we don't have anybody to defend. It's legit me and the charge are just doing work. If I can score you 16 points, maybe it'll matter. Oh, nope. They're chilling on our tower. Of course they are. Gengar, help me out here. Gengar, hit him. Hit him, Gengar. Do something dirty, Gengar. There's Charizard here. They're just defending. I am going to have to try to score here. Let me try to score. Let me score. Let me score. Nah. Wasn't able to score, and I think we lost this one. But still, yo. 9-7 and seven for a 3v5. And we almost won. We might have won. Let's see. Let's see. How close was it? Oh, my Lord. By two points, they beat us. By two points, they beat us. That is nuts. That is nuts. But that is actually a crazy battle. Blitzy did not play any of the match. The Gengar quit like less than halfway through. He was just following me around. So it was basically just me, the Charizard, and Slowbro getting after it. And we almost won that battle. That is crazy. I present to you guys Cinderace. This Pokemon is an absolute beast. Like I said, best attacker in the game at the moment and we showcased this pokemon to its fullest potential and i think it lived up to the name of best attacker in the game 28 and 4 first battle and then we played a 5v3 battle and went 9 and 7 and only lost by two points come on that is insane that is nutty but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positivity today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody Thank <laughs> you.